Got my piece of double die stabilized teal green and electric blue maple burl blank here on the lathe. I'm gonna get this turned up. Here we go. I'll get those sanded up and I'll see you guys back in just a little bit. Here's one of the things that I love about turning stabilized wood. Look at how the wood comes off in ribbons. Now sometimes really dense woods like Coca Bolo will do that. Maple doesn't usually come off in these nice clean ribbons, almost like resin. This is just so fun. I love stabilized woods. I'm all set up to get a little bit of glue boost put in on here. I'm going to put a nice CA finish on this and get it looking pretty. So there's layer number one. I'm going to do that a few more times with the uh, medium CA. And I'll put on about three layers of thin. And we'll get this done. All right. Let's see how that looks. Looking pretty darn good. We've got some beautiful blue stabilized maple burls with some teal green in there. A little bit. Not a whole lot actually stayed. Uh, the teal green kind of turned away quite a bit and what we're left is with is a beautiful blue burl blank. About the only section of teal green that's left is actually right up here toward the top and it'll be preserved because I'm going to run the clip just next to it. So you'll be able to see that nice teal green section right in there. But it is a gorgeous blank. It is definitely a win as far as testing out die stabilizing and these colors and and I am quite happy with it. So let's go ahead and get this put together. First thing I'm going to do with this American Patriot pen kit is put the tip into the front section of the pen. Got to watch for binding because these parts do like to bind up and then as well the metal finish on these antiqued uh, metal parts does like to have quite a bit of buildup on the bushings here that you have to clean off as you're putting it together. Otherwise, it will cause a space gap as you bring them in. Be very careful with your pick not to scratch your own blanks. Nothing worse than ruining a blank in the 11th hour of assembly. And we'll drive that home. Beautiful fitment on that. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to take my center band and I'm going to line it up right where you see that blue line. That's my concentricity line between my blanks. I'm going to aim that line directly at the A in America, that first A. Right at the beginning, nice and capitalized, America. I'm going to press that in right there. There we have it. Now I can take my ink, which I've already put the spring on, drop it down in. 
thread on my mechanism. Test it out. That works beautifully. Set that down for a moment. Now I'm going to take my upper assembly. I'm going to line up my clip with that same line, which is right there, as you can see. Press that in. Clean up any metal buildup that comes up. And then drive it home. Take our upper and lower assemblies, line up my clip with the A, and drive that home. And there we have it. One gorgeous pen. See the gorgeous blue, that maple burl, causing all sorts of wonderful effects. Those undyed sections just naturally occur like that when you're doing dye stabilization. Sometimes there are sections of wood that just will not accept dye. It creates these beautiful little islands inside all the blue. I think it kind of adds to the effect of the overall pen. And it's kind of fitting because this pen is going to be going to Navy personnel. And so islands in the blue sea just fits right in. Got real smooth actuation of the ink. That is a nice pen. You can see that little section of green got preserved sitting out there next to the American Eagle, absolutely a beautiful pen. It's going to make a great gift.